Hello everyone, this is Al Red Sox Fan coming to you from Al Red Sox Fan YouTube channel. Hope all is well. And we're going to bring you a little second and ten football, college football, 1984, 16-team playoff. Even though there was not a 16-team playoff in 1984, but we're going to do that. And our first matchup is number one, BYU, taking on number 16, Auburn. I'll be playing as the Auburn Tigers. I will always play as the visiting team, the lower seed, unless it's Boston College. In that case, I will play as Boston College and Doug Flutie. Who are the 16 teams that have made it? Well, you have BYU, Auburn, Florida State, Oklahoma, or Oklahoma State, Boston College, Southern Methodist, a.k.a. SMU, Southern South Carolina, UCLA, Florida, LSU, Ohio State, Maryland, Nebraska, Miami, and Washington. This top 16 was taken before the bowl game. We're doing this as if the bowl games did not exist. We took the top 16 in the final poll, and we're playing a playoff. So up next, kickoff, Auburn versus BYU, and we're using 2nd and 10 football. So let's take a preview of this. All home games will be played. All the games will be played at the home field of the higher seed. BYU are nine-point favorites. So the Cougars are nine-point favorites over the Auburn Tigers. And you can see the key players for the Auburn Tigers. The linebacker, Greg Carr. The wide receiver, Freddie Wagan, Wagand, excuse me. Guard, Jeff Lott. Defensive end, Gerald Robinson. And Ben Thomas, the defensive tackle. For the BYU Cougars, who won the national championship, Robbie Bosco, quarterback. Dave Mills, tight end. Leon White, no, not the wrestler linebacker. He actually did play college football for Colorado University. Or is it Colorado State? I can't remember. Kyle Morrell, the safety, and Trevor Maddich, the center. Again, all home games at the higher seeded team. Sports Time Machine has joined us here for this big matchup. Number 16 Auburn against number one, BYU. Let's see the real. So BYU, edge and offense. Absolutely. And defense, pretty much equal. Tigers have a slight edge. Tigers will have to have a stout defense and get some turnovers here. All right, let's close that out. And let's do one more thing here. Window capture. Capture cursor. Okay, it is capturing the cursor. All right, let's close that back out. And now, let's play the game. So the AI will control BYU. I will control Auburn. And now, it's... BYU's 11-point favorites now as we start the game. Here's the coin toss. Auburn has won the toss. We want the ball. So Auburn will get the football first. Lee Johnson to kick off. Brent Fullwood and Terry Walker back for the Auburn Tigers. And it's a cool day here. Looks like it's a snowy field. Here's the kickoff. Fullwood slips through a small hole. No one touches him yet. He's over his 10. He's got some room. 20, 30, 40, and finally tackled at midfield. That was a 44-yard return for Brent Fullwood. And snow continues to fall here. At Cougar Stadium. So 
Pat Washington's the quarterback. Head coach Pat Dye. Auburn is a running team. And on first and ten... We're going to give it to Tommy McGee. Inside run, Tommy McGee. First and ten. Cougars expecting the run. They're keying AG. And that's going to be a six-yard gain. What did I say? Tommy McGee. It's Tommy AG. Six-yard gain for Tommy Agee, brought down by Kirk Govea. A good run by the Auburn Tigers. So it's going to be second and four, second and four. Pat Washington, the quarterback, will call his own number on second and four. Standard defense for the Cougars. Double coverage on Wagan. Washington rolls out, and he's going to be tripped up. A loss of one. Great play by Brad Smith. So Brad Smith trips up. Pat Washington trying to turn the corner. That's going to be third and five. Snow continues to fall here at Cougars Stadium. Third and five at the BYU 45 for the Auburn Tigers. Buford will come out. Bo Jackson will come in. Three-headed monster. They're going to give the ball to Bo. Actually, we're going to go inside run Jackson on third and five. Cougars expecting the pass, playing bump and run, doubling Wagan. Jackson has some running room, and he picks up 18 yards before finally being tripped up by Kyle Morrell. 18-yard gain by this youngster, Bo Jackson. First and 10 for the Auburn Tigers at the BYU 27. We're going to stick with that three-headed monster in that backfield. And we're going to give it to Bo Jackson once again. BYU, standard set, expecting Jackson. And it's Jackson who gets the handoff. Burrows for four, second and six, second and six. Jackson will go off the field. Buford comes back on, split backfield. Washington under center, second and six. And A.G., We'll get the call, the fullback. Safeties on the line of scrimmage, playing the run, keying A.G. A.G. gets the handoff, and he is tackled behind the line of scrimmage for a couple yards worth of loss, third and seven. So the BYU defense trying to stand stout here. Third and seven for Auburn at the BYU 24. Jackson comes back in. Double halfback set with Brent Fullwood and Bo Jackson. It's going to be an outside run to Bo Jackson on third and seven. BYU expecting inside run. King Fullwood. Jackson around the corner. He has plenty of room over there. Over the 20. And touchdown! Bo Jackson gets to the outside. As BYU was badly fooled, playing the inside run and keying Fullwood. Well, it was hey diddle diddle Bo Jackson for the Nestie plunge. Six nothing Auburn. Quite an impressive drive for the Tigers. McGinty for the extra point. Put him up 7 0, 97% chance of making it, and it's through. It is through, and it is 7 0. Tigers flag on the play. Running into the kicker. Defense. So BYU runs into the kicker, and that will be assessed on the kickoff. 7 0. Auburn joining us here at Cougar Stadium. MV, aka Mouse in the House, Sports Time Machine. Check out. That wonderful YouTube content creator. Klee Baseball Fan 879, another wonderful YouTube content creator. Steeler Fan 1933, a.k.a. Matt. And Dave Gardner, he just had a hockey game inside the crease, the Capitals game. So check that out. And, of course, Digital to Dice. McGinty to kick off.
for Albert. Sikahima and Salanoa back deep. 7 0 Auburn. Here's the kickoff. It's a deep kick, fielded by Vai Sikahima. He picks up 19 yards on the return from his goal line. So the Cougars down 7 0, have it first and 10 at their 19. Bosco under center. Mimuli and Smith are your running backs. Your wideouts are Kozlowski and Hayesbert. The tight end is Molini. Auburn in a 4-3 set. And we're going to play all-purpose on first and 10. Auburn all-purpose. Bosco from the pocket under duress. He's going to run, and he only picks up one yard. Second and nine. Good pressure by the Auburn Tigers. So it's going to be second and nine from the BYU 20. Bosco again under center. Second and nine. We're going to play standard man-to-man -man coverage, shadowing the quarterback, and we're not going to double anybody. Bosco setting up the throw, looking for Mimuli. And he's going to make a small gain. On the draw play, so it was a play action. It was actually a draw play to Lakai Mimuli. He picks up three. Third and seven. Actually, he picks up two. Third and seven. Auburn looking to force a punt here. Third and seven. Kozlowski and Bellini are the wideouts. Mills the tight end. Mimuli and Parker are your backs. Bosco under center. Do we want to go extra defensive back here? Nope, we're going to go standard man coverage, shadow the quarterback. Third and seven. What can Bosco and the Cougars do here? Bosco taking his usual drop. Medium short pass to Mimuli. Hauled in at the 28. Nice run. It's a gain of 16 before being tripped up by Chip Powell. So BYU converts on the third and seven. First and ten for the Cougars at their 38. Three wideouts now for BYU. Kozlowski, Hayesbert, and Richard Orr. The lone setback is Kelly Smith, Robbie Bosco under center. Auburn has three defensive backs out there along with two safeties. And we're going to play standard man coverage, shadow the quarterback, on first and ten. Smith takes the handoff, and he's going to go around the edge for eight yards. Excellent blocking by the Cougars' O-line. Second and two, how do you do? BYU has it at their 46 as they encroach upon Auburn Tiger territory. Snow continues to fall here at Cougar Stadium. Second and two. We're going to play run defense on second and two. Smith and Mimuli are the backs. Bosco under center. Tigers. It's a short pass to Kelly Smith. He hauls it in at the 48. Tackled by Greg Carr at the Auburn 41. But it's a gain of 13. So on second and short, Bosco hits Kelly Smith out of the backfield. Another first down for the Cougars as they're down 7-0. Ball on the Auburn 41. First and 10. Mimuli and Smith are your backs. Kozlowski and Hayesbert, your wideouts. David Mills, the tight end. Robbie Bosco, under center. Auburn looking for a stop here. And we're going to play standard man-to-man -man coverage. Shadow the quarterback. We're playing pass. Bosco gets the snap. He rolls away from the pressure. Bosco looks for Hayesbert on the circle route. Perfect pass. Hayesbert at the 37. Breaks free for 14 yards before Arthur Johnson makes the tackle. And BYU has it first and 10 at the Tiger 27. So the Cougars trying to match that opening score by the Tigers. When Bo Jackson went around the corner for about 20. Bosco brings the offense to the line of scrimmage. Mimuli and Smith are your backs. It's going to be a run blitz here on first and ten. Here come all the linebackers. Bosco gives it to Mimuli, and he struggles for three yards. Good tough run by Mimuli. It's going to be second and seven 
Philip Reynolds has joined us. Hope all is well. Second and seven for the Cougars at the Auburn 24. Linebacker blitz. Standard coverage. Extra defensive back. We're not going to key anybody. Bosco with three wideouts. Looking, looking. Here comes Carr on the blitz. Bosco drops back to pass. Throws to Kozwalski. Post pattern. Bosco knocked away at the last second by Alvin Briggs. Bosco thought he had Kozolski for the TD. But Alvin Briggs makes the fine defensive play. Third and seven for the Cougars at the Tiger 24. They're looking to convert. Auburn up 7-0. Thanks to the 24-yard sweep by Bo Jackson. Third and seven. Three wide receivers for the Cougars. Kozwalski, Bellini, and Hayesbert. The lone back is Kelly Smith. Bosco under center. We're going to blitz the linebacker again. Extra defensive back. We're not keying anybody. They're bringing the pressure on Robbie Bosco. Carr blitzes once again. Hayesbert makes the catch. Briggs closes quickly, but it's an 18-yard gain. Flag on the play. Offense. Oh, offensive pass interference. So Hayesbert must have pushed off, must have pushed off to get some room. Instead of a first down and 10, that's a 15-yard penalty on the BYU Cougars. Auburn accepts. And it's going to be 30 and 17 from the Auburn 34. That's a huge penalty there. Third and 17. We're going to play standard zone extra defensive back. Bosco under center. Parker and Mamuli are your split backfield. Kozwalski, Bellini, and Mills are your receivers. David Mills being the tight end. Here we go. Third and seven. Standard zone defense for the Tigers. Bosco moves back into the pocket. He's under duress. He starts to scramble. They're chasing him. Bosco gets to the outside. And he is brought down by Greg Carr. He scrambles for a six. Lee Johnson will come out to attempt a 45-yard field goal. Only a 26% chance of making it. Snow continues to fall. Johnson with limited range. Tough kick here. It's in the air. And he misses. Well short. And the Boo Birds come out here at Cougar Stadium. So that was really out of Johnson's range. But the Cougars took a chance. Auburn Tigers take over first and 10 at their 28. Washington, that's Pat Washington. He's the quarterback. Then we have Brent Fullwood and Bo Jackson. We're actually going to take Fullwood out. And we're going to go with A.G. And Kyle Collins. Let's take Jackson out. Wayward will come out. We'll go double tight end with Parks and Middleton. So two tight end set. Our halfbacks are AG. Our, our running backs are AG, the fullback, and the halfback Kyle Collins. First and ten, six fifty nine to play. We're not a good passing team. And we're gonna try to screen to AG on first down. Safety's inching up towards the line for the Cougars. Now dropping back, back Key and Collins for the run. Washington rolls away from the pressure, doesn't have much time, and he's going to take off, and he's going to run for only a couple of yards, forced out of bounds by David Futrell. So we can't even get a screen pass off, but we did get two yards, so it's going to be second and eight for the Auburn Tigers. Freddie Way Wagan comes back on the field. Second and eight. Snow continues to fall here. Wide receiver screen to Freddie Wagand. Wagand's being doubled. Washington is under duress. He's forced to go to a new receiver looking for A.G. on the sidelines. A.G. has the ball at the 30. It's a gain of eight. Knocked out of bounds by Mark Allen. 
but that's a first down. Good job by Pat Washington to improvise and hit A.G. out of the backfield after Weygand was well covered by BYU. First and 10 for Auburn at their 38. It's going to be Bo Jackson and Brent Fullwood in the backfield. Two tight end set with Parks and Middleton. The wide out will be Trey Ganius. So first and 10. Fullwood on the inside run. Cougars expecting inside run. Keening, Keening Fullwood. And Fullwood will get knocked down in the backfield loss of two brad smith came fighting in so it's gonna be second and 12 for auburn at their 36. bo jackson will get the call on the pitch out cougars in standard man coverage doubling parks looking past jackson trying to turn the corner he heads to the outside and he's gonna pick up seven yards tackle made by mark allen of byu third and five third and five for Auburn at their 43. Another outside run to Bo Jackson. Bump and run coverage for the Cougars. They're doubling parks. They're expecting pass. Jackson, he breaks through. But he tries to change directions. He only picks up two yards. Great job by the BYU defense. Look like... Actually, Jackson for BYU broke through the line, limiting Bo Jackson to two yards. Fourth and three from the Auburn 45, and Auburn will punt. So Lewis Colbert to punt. Vai Sekahima back deep for BYU. 7-0 Auburn. The punt is in the air. It's a good punt. Colbert has some backspin on it. And the ball's going to roll dead at the Cougars' five. Good job by the Auburn special teams. So Robbie Bosco and the Cougar offense get their second crack at this Auburn Tiger defense. 7-0 Auburn Tigers, 425 to play in the first quarter. Bosco under center. Mimuli and Smith are your running backs. Kozlowski and Edwards, your wideouts. David Mills is the tight end. We're going to play run defense on first and 10. Auburn up in the box. Mamouli gets the call, and he struggles for two. It's going to be second and eight. Good job by the Tigers. Second and eight from the Cougars, seven. Standard man-to-man -man coverage. Extra defensive back. Shadow the quarterback. BYU goes three wide outs. Kozlowski, Haysbert, and Richard Orr mills the tight end. The lone setback behind Bosco is Parker. We're playing pass. Bosco rolls out. He's going to pass. There's a breakdown of the offensive line. Bosco looking, looking, looking. And he is going to scramble for one yard. As he goes out of bounds... Took a hit, went out of bounds, so it's going to be third and seven. This Auburn Tiger defense playing quite well. As Sports Time Machine says, good punt, keeping Vaya away from the ball. Vaya Sikahiba. Three wide outs once again for BYU. So we're going to play standard man coverage with the extra defensive back. We're not going to double anybody because their receivers are A, B, and the tight ends in A. And Richard Orr is a D, but if you double someone, he becomes much better. <laughs> so standard man-to-man -man coverage, shadowing the quarterback, Bosco. Flag on the and there's a flag. False start, False start on the Cougars. Defense. That's going to back him up half the distance to the goal line, I do believe. As BYU fans are not happy with this, some boos coming down here at Cougar Stadium. So 3rd and 11 from the BYU 4. We're going to stick with standard man. Shadow the quarterback. Extra defensive back. Bosco under center. Can he make this 3rd and 11? They're going to throw. Bosco. Medium pass to David Mills. But the pressure gets to Bosco. And he throws the ball away. 
He held on to it for as long as he could, but the Tigers get good pressure. And now a change of field position. Lee Johnson is also the punter. And we're going to have the normal return on. Johnson punting out of his end zone. Low snap. Johnson has to hurry the punt. It's blocked! It is blocked! And it goes through the end zone. Safety for the Auburn Tigers. And it's 9 nothing. So the Auburn Tigers, Lee Johnson not having a good day as either a kicker or a punter. The punt is blocked and it bounces through the snowy end zone as there is a mad scrum for the pigskin. But it is a safety for the Auburn Tigers. 9-0 Auburn, the 16th ranked Auburn Tigers. Again, we took the rankings after the final week of the college football season in 1984 before the bowl games. We're acting like there were never any bowl games. So now Lee Johnson will punt from his 20. Brent Fullwood and Trey Genius back for the Tigers. Johnson with the free kick. Ganius fields it at the Auburn 18. And he's brought down at the 36. So the Tigers after the safety. And the kick have it first and 10 at their 36 with a 9-0 lead. This number one Cougar team is in shock. Pat Washington is the quarterback. Fullwood and Jackson are the split backs. The lone wideout is Trey. Actually, we're going to go with uh, Freddie Wagan. The two tight ends, Jeff Parks and Ron Middleton. It's going to be an outside run. To Bo Jackson. Tight coverage by the defense. Morell's blitzing. Jackson trying to get around the outside. And he picks up five. Tackle made by Sean King of the Cougars. So it's going to be second and five. Fullwood and Jackson will sit down. A.G. And Collis Campbell will come in. Big backs, both fullbacks. Our two tight ends... We'll sit down, and we will go three wideouts. Wagan, Buford, and Guineas. Second and five, 238 left in the first quarter. Washington under center. And it's going to be an inside run to Collis Campbell on second and five. BYU expecting an outside run, keying Washington, and it's Collis Campbell up the middle for five yards. Yeah, they're close. They're going to measure for the first down. Did they get it? And they are just short, but a good tough run by Collis Campbell. Third and one from the Auburn 45. Campbell goes out. Bo Jackson comes in. So it's A.G. and Jackson in the backfield. Washington under center. Three wide receivers. Third and one. Washington will call his own number on third and one. Everyone tight to the line of scrimmage. They're playing run. They're keying Jackson. Pat Washington rolls out. And he picks his way through the line. He's going to pick up six yards. Nice run as he faked the pitch. Good job by Pat Washington. Auburn picks up another set of downs. Nice play by Pat Washington. Let's get our wideouts off. Let's go with two tight ends. And let's bring back in Brent Fullwood. Three-headed monster in the backfield for the Auburn Tigers of Fullwood, Jackson, and A.G. Two tight ends, Parks and Middleton. First and 10 for the Tigers. 128 and counting. First quarter. Can they upset the number one seeded BYU Cougars? First and 10. Inside run, Brent Fullwood on first and 10. All-purpose defense for BYU watching Bo Jackson. Fullwood on the carry. He's going to pick up seven yards in the snow. Mush, baby, mush before Kirk Govea can bring down Fullwood. Second and three under a minute to play. Inside run once again to Brent Fullwood. Man-to-man -man defense. They're looking past. Here comes the blitz. Flag on the play. Encroachment. Defense. Oh, BYU with the encroachment. First down 
Auburn Tigers as we're coming to an end of the first quarter. Pat Dye's liking what his Tigers are doing. Freddie Way Wagen comes back in. Ron Middleton goes off the field. Once again, Fullwood, Jackson, and Agee are the running backs. Parks is the tight end. Actually, Parks will go off the field. Middleton will stay on. First and ten, we do it again. Outside run, Bo Jackson. Cougars, eight men up in the box. They're looking for Fullwood, and it's Jackson around the side. But he is only going to pick up two. Good pursuit by the Cougars, limiting Bo Jackson to two yards. Second and eight from the BYU 35, and that ends the first quarter. Seven, nine nothing, excuse me, nine nothing. The number 16 Auburn Tigers. They had a 24 yard touchdown run by Bo Jackson. McGitney kick was good, and then they blocked a punt that went through the end zone for a safety. So second and eight, we begin the second quarter. They switch sides. And again, it will be an outside run to Bo Jackson from the three-headed monster backfield. BYU playing the run, keying AG. Jackson has it, only picks up three. Again, good, good job there by the Cougars flowing to the ball. So it's going to be third and five now, third and five from the BYU 32. This could be two down territory for the Cougars. Third and five. Washington on the keep. Quarterback keep. Cougars playing the run. Keying Jackson. Washington fakes the handoff. Keeps on the bootleg. But he's only going to pick up one. Fourth and four. They are not in field goal range. Fourth and four. From the, all, from the BYU 31. Offense stays on the field. Fourth and four. Play action fake. We're gonna look for Fullwood on the short on the flare pass out of the backfield. Fourth and four. Tight coverage by BYU. King Jackson on the run. The pass is deflected at the line of scrimmage and falls to the snowy grass. So a good job. There by BYU holding, turnover on downs, 13-24 to play in this first half, 9 nothing. Auburn. Bosco and the offense back on the field. The running backs are Mimuli and Smith. The wideouts, Kozlowski and Hayesbert. The tight end is Lance Lindley. We're going to play standard. All-purpose defense. Standard pass man-to-man, -man, excuse me, shadowing the quarterback on first and ten. Bosco looking for Kozlowski, and he makes the catch at the 35, dodges the first defender, and it's a gain of 13 before Greg Carr can bring him down. First and ten for the Cougars at their 44. Down 9 nothing. The number one seeded Cougars trying to rally here. 13.01 and counting in the first half. Again, we're going to play standard man-to-man -man pass defense, shadowing the quarterback. Bosco's going to throw. Medium short pass to Solanoa. Caught by Solanoa at midfield. It's a gain of eight. They'll spot the ball at the Auburn 48. So Bosco getting into a rhythm here. They're going to go three wide outs. Kozlowski, Haysbert, and Orr for the Cougars. Lindley is the tight end. Robert Parker, the lone setback. Bosco barks out the signals under center. We're going to blitz the linebacker. Extra defensive back, standard coverage, not doubling anybody. Here comes the blitz. It's Carr on the blitz. Bosco doesn't have much time. He dodges the blitz. And then is hit by Kevin Green. Why did that pitcher not? So it's third and nine. That was a sack by Green. And 
his photo did not load up. So a big sack by the Auburn Tigers. Third and nine. That was huge. Jack Dawson, how you doing? Check out that wonderful YouTube channel. Hope all is well. So third and nine now for the Cougars. 11.53 to play in the first half. We're going to send the blitz again. We don't want to give Bosco too much time. Extra defensive back. Kozlowski, Hayesburt, and Edwards are your wideouts. Mills the tight end. Kelly Smith the lone setback. We're not doubling anybody. Bosco on third and nine looking to convert. Carr on the blitz. Bosco under pressure. And he is sacked by Ben Thomas. The second sack of Robbie Bosco. And that will force BYU to punt on 4th and 16. Thank you very much, Jack Dawson. That's quite kind of you. A $2 super chat. I greatly appreciate that. Don't have to do that, but thank you very much. Another fine YouTube content creator, Jack Dawson. Last time Lee Johnson was on the field for a punt, it got blocked. We're setting up for a normal return. It's a short punt by Johnson, caught by Trey Guineas, but he's got nowhere to go after three yards on the 35-yard punt. Auburn starts first and 10 at their 30. 11.07 to play in the first half. The number 16 Auburn Tigers come into Cougar Stadium, hoping to upset BYU, the number one seed. Three backs, Fullwood, Jackson, and A.G. Freddie Wagens, the wideout. Ron Middleton, the tight end. Inside run to the fullback. Tommy A.G. on first and ten. Standard defense for the Cougars, expecting A.G. And A.G. gets the carry. He plows for three. Second and seven. Inside handoff to A.G. once again. BYU. Playing the run, King Bo Jackson, A.G. up the middle, and he picks up another three yards. Third and four for the Tigers at their 36. Wagan goes out, Clayton Buford comes in. Jackson, A.G., and Fullwood are the backs. Third and four. Outside run, Brent Fullwood on third and four. BYU, too many men on the field. They'll have to use a timeout. Coach Edwards forced to call a timeout. He's none too happy on that Brigham Young sideline. So once again, third and four. And we're going to stick with the outside run to Fullwood. Bump and run coverage for BYU. Fullwood around the corner. But he is brought down by Larry Hamilton in the backfield. Good job by Hamilton. That's a loss of one. Fourth and five. BYU forces the Tigers to punt. So here's Lewis Colbert to punt. Vai Sikahima is back deep. Here's the punt to Vai Sikahima. BYU looking for a big return. Colbert gets the kick away. Sikahima at the 27. He's dragged out of bounds. At the 22. Loss of five. Vi Sikahima trying to make something happen, and he loses yardage. So 8.52 left in the first half. 9-0 Auburn. BYU takes over first and 10 at their 22. Bosco under center. Smith and Whittingham are your running backs. Haysbert and Edwards, your wideouts. David Mills, the tight end. Four down linemen. Three linebackers for the Auburn Tigers. We're going to play standard man-to-man -man pass coverage, shadowing the quarterback on first and ten. Bosco's going to throw. No, it's a draw to Freddie Whittingham. And he only picks up two. Good job by Jonathan Robertson, who breaks through and makes the stop. Second and eight for the Cougars at their 24. Again, standard man coverage, shadowing the quarterback. 
as Bellini and Haysbert are your backs. Mills the tight end. Bosco barks out the signals. Bosco looking. Good coverage in the secondary. Bosco looking for another receiver. Slant sideline pattern to Mills. Grabbed at the 34 gain of 10 as he is brought down. But that will move the chains for the Cougars. First and 10 for BYU at their 34. 7.55 and counting in the first half. 9-0 Tigers. Mimuli and Smith are your backs. Bellini, Haysbert, and Mills, your receivers. David Mills being the tight end. Bosco under center. We're going to blitz the linebacker. Standard coverage. Here comes the blitz by the Auburn Tigers. It's, Cur it's uh, McCurdy. It's a draw by Mimuli. And he runs into the blitz. Only picks up a yard. So the blitz turned in... Even though it was a pass blitz, slowed down the run on the draw. Second and nine. Just over seven to play in the first half. Second and nine. Again, we're going to blitz. And we're going to go extra defensive back. Standard coverage. Mimuli and Smith are your backs. Kozlowski and Haysbert, your wideouts. Mills the tight end. Auburn bringing the pressure on Bosco. It's Greg Carr going after Bosco. Medium long pass to Kelly Smith. Flag on the play. Bosco telegraphed the pass, and Alvin Briggs tips it away. But what's the flag? Defense. Oh, defensive holding. That's going to give BYU a first down. Ten-yard penalty. First down. And a first down for the Cougars. They needed that. First and ten for BYU at their 45. Smith and Salanoa are your running backs. Kyle Zwalt. Kozlowski and Haysbert, your wideouts. Lindley's the tight end. Bosco again under center. We're actually going to play run defense for the first time in a long time. Bosco gets the snap back in the pocket. It's a draw to Kelly Smith. No place to go. No gain. Smith a bit dinged up. But he's going to stay in the game. So it's going to be second and ten. Good job by the Auburn Tigers there. We were looking run. They, we got the draw. Second and ten for BYU at their 45. 633 left and counting in the first half. Nine nothing Tigers. Lone setback is Robert Parker. The three wideouts, Kozlowski, Bellini, and Orr. Mills is the tight end. We're going to blitz a linebacker, extra defensive back, standard man-to-man -man coverage. Tigers coming after Robbie Bosco again. Carr on the blitz. Bosco moving around in the pocket. Screen to the tight end, Mills. He grabs it. He's at the 41. He's over midfield. He's got a bit of room. And he's forced out of bounds, but it's a gain of 16. So they go tight end screen. First and 10 for BYU at the Auburn 39. Nice play call by Lavelle Edwards. Three wideouts again for the Cougars. Kozlowski, Bellini, and Haysbert. Kelly Smith, the lone setback. Lance Lindley is the tight end. Here comes the blitz again. Extra defensive back. We're not keying anybody. Pressure on Bosco. It's Carr chasing Bosco. Bosco fakes to Smith. Looking for Bellini on the end around. Bellini has a little bit of running room. He's good, but now he is wiped out by Russ Carricker. So Bellini thought he had some running room, but a great individual effort by Russ Carricker. Loss of five. The razzle dazzle does not work. It's gonna be second and fifteen now. And again, we're gonna bring the pressure. And we're gonna go extra defensive back. BYU has two running backs, Mimuli and Smith. Two wideouts, Kozlowski and Bellini. The tight end, David Mills. Again, pressure on Robbie Bosco. Pressure, pressure, pressure. McCurdy on the blitz. Bosco looking. Bosco under duress. And Bosco is nailed by Gary Kelly. That is the third sack by the Auburn Tigers. That is a loss of five. Bosco is taking a beating. In that pocket. So it's going to be third and 20. Auburn continues to bring the pressure on Robbie Bosco. Third and 20. Should we lay back in a zone? No. Here comes the blitz again. Extra defensive back. Standard coverage. 
Bosco. It's Carr chasing Bosco. Bosco looking for Mills. Mills downfield. And he has running room. And he's finally brought down at the 19. 30 yards, but flag. Oh, another offensive pass interference. So David Mills is called for offensive pass interference. Bosco avoided the rush and made a big throw for not as the yellow hanky took it away. Back up the bus, folks. It's now third and 30. We're going to play a deep zone. Extra defensive back. 536 left in a first half that the BYU Cougars and Lavelle Edwards would love to forget. Bosco under center. Kelly Smith behind him. Kozlowski, Bellini, and Haysbert are your wideouts. Trevor Molini, the tight end. Auburn, four down linemen. Deep zone, extra defensive back. We expect pass. Bosco's going to throw. Screen pass to Molini. Just make the tackle. Molini has the catch. He's got some room. 40. He passes midfield. For God's sake, someone tackle him. And he is pushed out of bounds by Alvin Briggs. It's a gain of 20, but they needed 30. And Lee Johnson will punt once again. We're going to go with a normal punt return. Johnson trying to pin the Tigers back. Johnson puts the kick up in the air, hoping for a good bounce. And it bounces into the end zone. The tough day for Lee Johnson continues. The Tigers will have it first and 10 at their 20. 5.18 to play in the first half. 9-0 Auburn. Three running backs, Fullwood, Jackson, and Tommy Agee. The wide out will be Freddie Wagan. The tight end is Jeff Parks. Bo Jackson on first and 10. Outside run to Bo. BYU neutral defense double covering Parks. Looking for pass. Jackson trying to get around the corner. But Brad Smith gets in and brings down Bo Jackson for a yard loss. So now it's the BYU defense which has been playing quite well. They've only given up seven points. The other two points on a blocked punt, the safety. So second and 11, second and 11. Bo Jackson up the middle on second and 11. Cougars playing for the run. Keying Jackson, Jackson gets the carry. And he is nailed in the backfield by Ken Smith. Loss of two. The Cougars showing their fangs as it's a battle of felines here at Cougars Stadium. The Tigers so far getting the best of the BYU Cougars, but BYU trying to change that. We're not going to call timeout. Third and 13, we have no good play call here. <laughs> We're going to go three wide outs. Bo Jackson alone setback. Well, I guess we can't play three wide. Are we missing a running back? Oh, we got to go tight end here. It's going to be Middleton. There we go. So, Wagan, Buford, and Genius are your wideouts. Middleton, the tight end. Bo Jackson. It'll be a draw to Bo Jackson on third and 13. Man to man coverage by BYU. Medium depth. They're looking for the pass. Here's the draw to Bo Jackson. And Jackson's hitting the backfield, but he's still on his feet. He's still going. He breaks another tackle. And he's pushed out of bounds at the 37. It's a gain of 20 by Bo Jackson. They needed 13. And Bo knows football. He got 20 on the draw. And the Cougars had two opportunities to bring him down before he made that miraculous run. Jackson will go to the sidelines. And Brent Fullwood will come in. Auburn stretching out the Cougar defense now. They stick with the three wideouts and the tight end. And it's going to be a draw to Brent Fullwood on first and 10. Cougars eight men up in the box. Keying Washington, the quarterback. Delayed handoff to Brent Fullwood. And Fullwood cuts to his left. And he's going to pick up seven yards. Good blocking by Steve Wallace. 
We're not going to call timeout. 3.09 left in the half. Auburn has it. Second and three at their 44. Boy, we'd like to put up another score here. We'll stick with the three wide outs. And Bo Jackson comes back in. Hey, diddle, diddle. Bo Jackson up the middle on second and three. Cougars eight men up in the box. Keen Jackson on the run. Jackson gets the carry. Jackson met at the line of scrimmage. He's still fighting. His legs are churning, and he picks up four yards. Bo Jackson is a beast. Another first down. 2.43 left. We're not going to call a timeout. We have all three. Ball at the Auburn 48. Wagan will go off the field. Parks will come on. So the two tight ends are Parks and Middleton. Bo Jackson will come off the field. Tommy Agee will come on. The wideouts are Buford and Gaines. Washington under center. Washington will go with the carry, the quarterback. Eight men up in the box. Keying the quarterback. Washington fakes to AG. He keeps it. He's going to run. And that is a loss of one. Excellent job by Marv Allen of the Cougars. Two minutes left in the first half. Nine nothing. Auburn looking to upset the number one seeded BYU Cougars. So it's second and 11. Jackson comes back on the field. He's the lone setback. Buford and Gaines are your wideouts. Parks and Middleton, your tight ends. It's going to be a screen to Bo Jackson on second and 11. BYU expecting an inside run. They're keying Jackson. It's going to be a screen to Bo. Bo grabs at the 43. He's got some room. 40. And tripped up at BYU's 32. Screen play pops for 21 yards. 135 left, unless we call a timeout. We're not going to call a timeout. We still have all three of our timeouts. Auburn first and 10 at the BYU 32. Jackson goes off the field. Brent Fullwood comes back in. First and 10. Outside run, Brent Fullwood on first and 10. BYU expecting an inside run. They're keying the quarterback. It's Fullwood around the corner, but he only picks up two. Good job by the Cougars, and now we will call timeout. So the Tigers use their first timeout. 124 left in the first half. 9 nothing. Auburn trying to upset the number one seeded BYU Cougars. Second and eight from the BYU 30. Kyle Collins comes in the game on second and eight. Play action fake, and we're going to screen to Kyle Collins on second and eight. BYU looking inside run, keying the quarterback Washington. Play action fake, screen to Collins. He grabs it at the 34, and he only picks up four yards. Good job of moving to the ball by the Cougars. And we will use our second timeout. So third and four for Auburn at the BYU 26. Still not in really good field goal range for Robert McGinty. Collins goes out. Bo Jackson comes in. Middleton goes out, and Freddie Wagan comes in. So the three wideouts are Wagan, Buford, and Ganius. The tight end is Jeff Parks. Bo Jackson, the lone setback. Third and four. Jackson up the middle on third and four. We have one timeout in our pocket. They're playing bump and run coverage. Looking pass, doubling Wagan and Parks. Jackson with the carry. And he breaks three! Jackson breaks three, and he's brought down! At the BYU 17, gain of nine by Bo Jackson. Oh, that Bo Jackson is quite a running back. If we don't call timeout, there's 47 seconds left. We're not going to call timeout. We still have one in our pocket. That was a huge run by Bo Jackson. And once again, it'll be hey diddle diddle, Bo Jackson up the middle. Standard man coverage, 
Doubling Wagon. They're looking past. It's a give to Bo Jackson. It's a nice run by Jackson. As he struggles, he kept churning. Picks up four yards. We'll use our last timeout. Second and six at the BYU 13. 39 seconds left. And let's play... Hurry up. We can run some options here. Jackson goes... Ah, do we want Jackson on the field? We're pretty much used, used up Bo Jackson in the first half. But you know what? If we can punch a touchdown in, we're in great, great position. Read option, pitch to Bo Jackson. How come we can't do that? I guess we can't do that in the hurry up? Okay, we won't do that then. That's fine. We're in the hurry up. Outside run, Bo Jackson on second and six from the BYU 13. They're Key and Jackson, neutral defense. Jackson around the right side, upfield, touchdown, Bo Jackson. Jackson with his second nest tee plunge, a 13-yard sweep. Jackson, 15 carries, 112 yards, and two touchdowns, 15-0. Auburn. So a tremendous drive there by the Tigers of Auburn. Here's the extra point by Robert McGinty. 97% chance of making it. The kick is up and good, 16-0. Auburn, and this is a shocked fan base for the BYU Cougars here at Cougar Stadium. 30 seconds to play in the first half. It's been all Auburn. McGintney to kick off Sikahima and Parker back. McGintney will kick deep. Parker at the nine, picks up 22 yards. On the return, 22 seconds left for the Cougars. A uh, first half, not to remember if you're a Cougar fan. BYU has all three timeouts. Bosco under center, Parker and Salanoa, your running backs. Kozlowski, Bellini, your wideouts. Lindley is the tight end. We're going to play a deep zone. Extra defensive back. Here we go. Bosco screens to Selenoa, caught at the 27, and he'll pick up nine yards, second and one. BYU uses their first timeout. 16 seconds left. We'll go into prevent. Mimuli has the ball. And he'll pick up four yards, first down, and that ends the first half of football. So the Cougars throw in the towel to end the first half. We go to this third quarter, 16-0 Auburn, trying to upset the number one Cougars. McGintney to kick off. Sikahima and Salanoa back deep. And Here's the kickoff by McGintney. Snow continues to fall here at Cougar Stadium. Sikahima from the 5, and he'll take it out to the 27. Actually, take it out to the 32, excuse me, a 27-yard return. So here comes Robbie Bosco and the BYU Cougar offense, and they have a lot of work to do. They're down 16 to nothing. Smith and Salanoa are your running backs. Kozlowski and Haysbert, your wide out. David Mills is... The tight end. We're going to play standard. Bring the pressure. Actually, we're going to blitz the linebacker. Excuse me. Standard man coverage. Pressure coming after Bosco. It's Greg Carr on the blitz. Bosco looking to throw. Medium pass to Mills. Mills catches it at the 41. It's a 10-yard gain. They're going to measure, though. It's close. Did they get the first? First down. And they did. So... A first down toss to Mills. First and 10 for BYU at their 42. 
Down 16 to nothing. Still only a two-possession game in college football as a touchdown and two two-point conversions will tie it. We're going to play the run. We're going to play run defense on first and ten. Auburn playing the run. Mimuli gets the carry, and he is flattened. After a two-yard gain, good job by the Auburn Tigers. Second and eight for the Cougars at their 44. Mamouli and Parker are your backs. Bellini and Hayesbert, your wideouts. David Mills, the tight end. Robbie Bosco under center. We're going to play standard man-to-man -man coverage, shadowing the quarterback. No blitzers. Bosco setting up to throw. Medium short to the sidelines. Mamouli makes the catch at the 49. Turns it upfield. 40 knocked out of bounds. That goes for 29 yards. They'll spot it at the Auburn 27. Here comes Robbie Bosco and the Cougar offense. Bosco. Under center, Sikahima and Whittingham are your running backs. Haysbert and Orr, your wideouts. Mills, the tight end. Standard man coverage, shadowing the quarterback. Extra defensive back for Auburn, doubling no one. It's a give to Whittingham. He stopped at the line, but he struggles for a three. So the initial hit looked to have Fred Whittingham stopped, but he spun... We kept the legs are churning, as we say. Make it second and seven. From the Auburn 24, second and seven. Standard man coverage, shadowing the quarterback. Extra defensive back, as BYU has three receivers, Haysbert, Orr, and Edwards, along with Mills, the tight end. The lone setback, Kelly Smith. Smith is an excellent pass receiver. You can see that A rating out of the backfield. And we're going to play... Standard man coverage, as I said, shadowing the quarterback. Bosco's going to pass. He's flushed from the pocket, and he is sacked by John Daly. No, not the golfer. That's a loss of 12. Auburn gets Bosco for a fourth time. Nice job by the Auburn Tigers bringing the pressure. Third and 19 for BYU. Ball's back at the Auburn 36. Standard man coverage, extra defensive back, shadow the quarterback. Bosco with his three wideouts trying to convert on third and 19. Bosco will take the snap. Bosco takes his usual drop again under duress. Bosco's going to take off and run, but he can only manage a one-yard gain. Tackled by Edward Phillips. Brad62, how you doing, my friend? Brad says, very cool project, Al, and this game is a fine simulator for it. Oh, I like this game. I love all my games. I haven't played second and ten in a while. I, You know what the hardest thing is, Brad, and anyone left in the chat or watching later? Finding all the photos. And again, you can play the game without the photos, but I like the photos. It took me forever to find the photos. Not forever, but... There are none of the photos in the college photo file. So, and again, we'll give you as many games as possible online. It, you won't be seeing them. You know, I, I like to try to get one every week or one every two weeks because I like to add the photos. All right, so that's going to force, after that short Bosco run, another punt by Lee Johnson. We're going to go with a normal return. Hope all is well, Brad62. Johnson hoping to pin... The Tigers back, but it bounces into the end zone once again. Smelly Wrestling Geek says, just bought this game the other day. Fun, fun game. All the pro seasons are free, and every year they give you the new pro season free. The college seasons you have to pay, but they, they feel bad, so they give you every college team if you want to make your own, pretty much want to make your own college seasons. You get uh, over 5,000 college teams and some free college seasons. And if you want to buy a different college season, I want to say they're $10. As Brad62 says, yeah, college is tough with the huge rosters and many years to cover. And what I like about 2nd and 10, they're only you only have to find the photos of the guys who actually are going to play in the game. So, But it's still a lot of photos. All right. We're up 16 to nothing, 11.51 to play in the third quarter. I play as the lower seeds unless it's Boston College. I always play as Doug Flutie in Boston College. Jackson 
We pretty much used up all of his carries in the first half, so we're going to rest him. And we're going to go with Brent Fullwood. And I'm playing differently. I'm playing with three wideouts, and that kind of spreads their defense out a bit. So it's Wagen, Buford, and Gaines, the wideouts. Parks, the tight end. Washington under center. And we're going to go read option. To Brent Fullwood. Read option to Brent Full Fullwood. BYU blitzing. Here's the pitch to Fullwood. And he struggles. Lucky not for not to get a big loss. And he'll manage one yard. So a good job by Brent Fullwood. As BYU was showing blitz, but bounced back into standard pass coverage. But Fullwood could not take advantage of that. It's second and nine. Quarterback keep on the option. Safeties on the line of scrimmage. They're playing the run. Fake pitch. Washington keeps it. He should have tossed it. And he is nailed by Sean Knight. Flag on the play, though. Face mask. Yes. Defense. Oh, BYU just not catching breaks. That's going to be a first down. Incident on face mask. I, no, maybe it's going to be third and... Second and four, I think. Do we get a first down on that? No, second and four. Five yards. Incidental face mask. mask. All right, second and four. 16 nothing. Tigers. Inside run, Brent Fullwood on second and four. Safety's playing for the run. Another flag before the snap. False start. False start. Offense. Offense. Ugh, saw that coming. So that's going to back up the bus on the false start. So that five yards we got, we just gave back. And it's a mulligan, second and nine, all over again. As Yogi Bear would say, deja vu all over. Second and nine. Can we screen to Fullwood? We're going to screen to Fullwood on second and nine. Cougars up tight on the receivers, watching for the run. Washington looking, looking. He's going to throw to Gainis. Gainis at the 22, 30. It's going to be a big play. He's tripped up at the 39, gain of 18. So Washington did a beautiful job after the pressure. He couldn't get the screen off. Instead, he hits Trey Gainis for 18 yards. And that will move the chains. Pat Washington having a good game here. Fullwood, the lone setback. Freddie Haywood, Clayton Buford, and Trey Gaines are your wideouts. Jeff Parks is the tight end. And Gaines is pretty much done, so let's get him out of the game. And bring in our second tight end, Ron Middleton. Quarterback keep. Pat Washington. All-purpose defense for the Cougars. Keying Fullwood. Washington fakes the handoff. He continues his bootleg. He pops through the hole. He's into the secondary. A big run of 13 yards by Pat Washington before Kurt Govea brings him down. Oh, my Lord. Everything going right for the Auburn Tigers that we are coaching. Another first down. And 10 at the BYU 48. Again, BYU, when they won the national title, at being the number one team after the bowl games, where people said that's not the number one team, and right now we're sort of proving that. They won in the Holiday Bowl over Michigan State. They did go undefeated, though. Can't blame them on that. So first and 10, we do it again. Two tight ends set. Inside run, Fullwood. Brent Fullwood on the carry. Cougars eight men in the box. Keying Fullwood. Fullwood on the run. Hit behind the line of scrimmage by Leon White. Loss of one. So it's going to be second and 11. Under 10 to play in this third quarter. Second and 11. Screen to Fullwood on second and 11. Cougars playing a neutral defense, watching for the run. It's a screen to Fullwood. He slips in the snow, incomplete. Oh, boy. 
Auburn was lucky there not to throw a pick. So third and 11. Jackson comes back on the field with Tommy Agee. Old school here, two tight end set. Three-headed monster in the backfield on third and 11. Outside run, Bo Jackson. Bo has two touchdown runs. Standard coverage, BYU doubling parks. Jackson around the corner, picks up eight. Fourth and three at the BYU 41. Oh, I'm tempted to go for it. I'm tempted to go for it. Fourth and three. From the BYU 41, we will punt. We will punt. So Lewis Colbert to punt. Vi Sikahima, even though they call him Val, it's Vi. They misspelled it. BYU looking for the fake, but Colbert's going to kick it away, and it's not a good punt. Fair catch by Sikahima. That's not a bad punt. At the 11, we'll take that. It was a good high punt. Sikahima didn't get a return. First and 10 for the Cougars, 9-16 to play in the third quarter. They're down 16 to nothing. Ball at their 11. Mimuli and Parker are the running backs. Bosco is the quarterback. Haysbert and Orr, your wideouts, mills the tight end. We're going to play standard man coverage, shadow the quarterback, extra defensive back. Bosco will take the snap. He gives it to Mimuli. Mimuli breaks a tackle. Pops to the outside, picks up five. Second and five. 8.42 left in the third quarter. 16 nothing Auburn. Again, we're going to play standard defense. Shadow the quarterback, extra defensive back. We're playing pass all the way. Bosco sets up to throw. Nope, it's a draw to Mamouli, and he is stuffed. Struggles for a yard. The Auburn front four does its J-O-B. Third and four. Third and four. This is very big for the Cougars. Ball at their 17. They trail 16 to nothing. Standard man-to-man -man coverage. Shadow the quarterback. Extra defensive back. We're not going to double anybody. Can Bosco convert on third and four? Medium pass to Kelly Smith. And Porter tips it away. Fourth and four, the Cougars are denied once again. Lee Johnson to punt. We're going to go with a normal punt return. Here's the punt by Johnson. It's in the air. Gain is signals for the fair catch. And the ball is spotted at the Auburn 43. 7.57 to play in the third quarter. Boy, if the Tigers can put up another score. Fullwood, Jackson, and A.G., the three-headed monster in the backfield. Two tight ends set, Parks and Middleton. It's going to be an outside run to Bo Jackson. Bo has already rushed for two. They're keying Fullwood. Jackson gets the call, but he can only pick up three. Flag on the play, tackled by Ken Smith. Clipping. Offense. Oh, illegal block by the Auburn Tigers. 10-yard penalty from the line of scrimmage. First and 20 for BYU. Outside run, Bo Jackson again. BYU playing the run. Keen Jackson. Jackson. Goes nowhere but down. No gain. Second and 20. Second and 20. Hand off to the fullback, Tommy Agee. Cougars in a neutral defense, keying Agee. Agee hit by Govea, but it's after a five-yard gain. Third and 15. Third and 15. Wagan, Buford, Gain is back on the field along with the tight end Jeff Parks. It's going to be a draw to Bo Jackson 
on third and 15. BYU expecting pass, doubling Wagon, extra defensive back. Here's the delayed handoff to Jackson. Jackson will pick up eight. Tackled by Whittingham. Fourth and seven. 541 left in the third quarter. Lewis Colbert to punt. Vi Sikahima back deep for the Cougars. Sikahima signals for the fair catch at the BYU 20. Only a 34-yard punt, but they're high, and Sikahima cannot get returns. The Tigers would really like to put one more score on the board, or more, obviously. So here's Bosco and the BYU offense, first and 10 at their 20. Mimuli and Parker are the backs. Kozlowski and Haysbert, the wideouts. David Mills is the tight end. We're going to play standard man coverage, shadow the quarterback, and we're playing pass. Here's the snap. Bosco takes his usual drop, throws to Mills on the post pattern. Holding at the 36 by Mills. He'll pick up 20. Flag. Uh-oh. Defense. A late hit by the Auburn Tigers. And that's going to tack on 15 more yards. First and day. BYU's in business. First and 10 for the Cougars at the Tiger, 45. Three wideouts, Bellini, Oren, Edwards, Mills the tight end, Parker the setback, Bosco under center. We're going to bring the pressure. Extra defensive back, we're not doubling anybody. Playing pass. Carr on the blitz, Mills running the corner out, and he makes the catch. Oh, it's intercepted! It's intercepted! Beasley took it out of Mills' hands! What a play by Beasley of the Auburn Tigers! Victor Beasley with the pick! And there is stunned shock and silence here at Cougar Stadium. What a pick by Victor Beasley! As he took it right out of David Mills' hands, he'll pick up one yard on the return. I thought Mills made the catch. Auburn has it first and 10 after 29. Bo Jackson on the inside run. Cougars playing the run, Keying Jackson. Bo gets the carry, picks up four yards. Second and six, Jackson will go out. Brent Fullwood will come in. Inside run to Brent Fullwood. BYU keying Washington on the quarterback keep. And Fullwood goes up the middle before he is brought down by Kyle Morrell. Gain of eight. So the Tigers continue to stretch out this Cougar defense and rotate their running backs. First and ten for Auburn at their 41. Washington on the keep. Quarterback keep. BYU playing the run, keying the quarterback. Washington could be in trouble here. Good block by Schuler. Washington gets through the line. He's hit by Kyle. Oh, the ball comes loose. There's a mad scramble. Who has it? And Fullwood saves the day for Auburn. That was the break that the Cougars needed. But Brent Fullwood... Comes away from the pig pile with the pigskin, and Washington will pick up five yards. So second and five, as Pat Dye breathes a sigh of relief, as well as myself, on the sidelines of the Auburn Tigers. Brent Fullwood will come, uh, will stay in, excuse me. Mike Mann will come in at quarterback. We'll give Pat Washington a breather. And Mike Mann will carry the ball. So Mike Mann, they're expecting inside run. They're keying Fullwood. It's Mann. He goes off tackle. And he picks up three. So third and three. As Mike Mann is in the game now. For the Tigers at the Auburn 48. Play action pass. We're going to go short to Clay Buford. 
Man looking to complete his first pass of the game. They're playing the run. Play action. Man to throw. Quick toss to Buford. He makes the catch at the 48. Fourth and one. Holy cow. We didn't pick up three. Good tackle there. Good job by the Cougar defense. Fourth and one at midfield. Wow. Fourth and one. They haven't moved the ball, huh? They're starting to move the ball, but let's not give them the short field. Fourth and one. We're going to punt. We're going to punt. Sikahima back. Colbert to punt. It's a poor punt. I don't know why they keep saying it's a poor punt. It's down at the 16. We'll take that all day. D. Scott Howard's joined us here at Cougar Field. The Goat Whisperer. Hope all is well. So here comes Robbie Bosco in the BYU offense down by 16. In fact, 16 nothing Auburn Tigers. First round of our 16-team playoff. We picked the 16 teams at year end, not at season end. Not after the bowl games. We're acting like there's no bowl games. So Smith and Salanoa are the backs. Bosco is the quarterback. Haysbert and Orr, your wideouts. Mills, the tight end. We're going to play standard coverage. Shadow the quarterback. We're playing man pass. Bosco drops back in the pocket. Underneath to Salanoa. He makes the catch at the 23. It's going to be an eight-yard gain. Second and two. Under two minutes to play in the third quarter. Again, standard man Shadow the quarterback. Kelly Smith and Fred Whittingham are your running backs. Kozlowski and Haysbert, your wideouts. David Mills, the tight end. Bosco barks out the signals. He's under center. Robbie Bosco. Medium sideline to Haysbert. Haysbert makes the grab at the 34. Knocked out of bounds. It's an 11-yard gain. Another first down. As Russ Carraker knocked him out of bounds. BYU first and 10 at their 35. Mimuli and Parker, your backs. Bellini and Kozlowski are the wideouts. Mills, the tight end. Again, standard man coverage. Shadow the quarterback. BYU down by 16. Bosco drops back to pass. Bosco's in trouble. He's under pressure. He gets away from it. And he'll scramble for one. McCurdy on the tackle. Auburn has brought good pressure on Robbie Bosco. In fact, I believe we have sacked him five times. Let's look at Bosco here. Let's go defense for Auburn. Sacks. One, two, three, four times. We've sacked him four times, and we've picked him once. Probably could have looked here, right there. All right, back to the game. Second and nine. Standard man coverage, shadow the quarterback. We were blitzing a lot early in the game, but that seems not to work anymore. Bosco looking to convert on second and nine or make it a short, short third. Mandich snaps it to Bosco. Draw play, Kelly Smith. Middle's clogged up, and Smith bounces, and he breaks through. Gain of 19 by Kelly Smith. The Tigers looked like they had him pinned up in the middle on the draw. But he bounced out of there somehow and picks up 19. Arthur Johnson drags him down. First and 10 for the Cougars at the Auburn 45. Again, we're going standard pass coverage, shadow the quarterback. Mimuli and Smith are your running backs for BYU. Kozlowski and Edwards, your wideouts. Mills the tight end. Bosco under center. Looking to bring the pressure on Robbie. Flag on the play. Flag on the play. Encroachment. Defense. Ugh. Five yards in favor of BYU. Fans have something to cheer about. First and five for the Cougars at the Auburn 40. 57 seconds left in the third quarter. 16-0 Auburn. We're playing the pass. Standard man-to-man -man coverage shadowing the quarterback. Bosco. First and five. Drops back to pass. Underneath to Kozlowski. And he can't get it there. The pressure forces Bosco to throw it away. Good job 
by the Tigers bringing the heat. Looking for sack number five. They almost had it there. Second and five for BYU at the Auburn 40. Mamouli and Smith, your backs. Kozlowski and Edwards, your wideouts. Mills, the tight end. Standard man covered. Shadow the quarterback. Rinse and repeat. Back in the pocket goes Bosco. Draw to Mamouli. He picks up three. David King on the stop. It's going to be third and two. This should be the last play of the third quarter. Ball spotted at the Auburn 37. Snow continues to fall here at Cougar Stadium. Third and two. Standard shadow the quarterback. Third and two. We're not going to play the run here. Bosco looking to pass. Nope, it's a draw to Sonola, and he is stopped. He only picks up one, and the crowd saying go for it. I think they will, but that ends the third quarter, so Lavelle Edwards has a little time to think about it. Only a one-yard gain for Thor Salanoa on the draw. Offense stays on the field with 15 more minutes of football, and BYU, the number one seed, down 16 to nothing. Third, a fourth and one. We're going short yardage. We're playing the run. Fourth and one. Everyone up. Parker has the ball. And he busts through for six yards in the snow. As Edwards makes the gutsy call. And it works. First and ten for BYU. As they switch sides, obviously. At the Auburn 30, standard man coverage, shadow the quarterback. Extra defensive back as BYU has three wideouts. Kozlowski, Bellini, and Edwards. Smith, the lone setback. Mills, the tight end. We are playing pass. First and 10. Bosco, looking, looking, looking. Goes to Kozlowski. Has it at the 13. Completion of 17 yards. So BYU trying... To punch it in finally, first and 10 at the Auburn 13, 14-14 14, 14 left in the game. We're going to blitz a linebacker here, extra defensive back. Against their three wide out set. Here comes Craig on the blitz, Bosco flush from the pocket. Scrambling, looking, and throws downfield to Mills. Knocked away by Ben McCurdy. So Bosco under pressure, second and ten. Blitzing again. Extra defensive backs. Pass, standard. Here comes Carr on the blitz. Bosco scrambles over to Kozlowski. King jumps the route, misses the ball. And Kozlowski makes the catch at the three. It's close to a first. King was looking for a pick. And they are just short. It will be third and one. But boy, did they dodge the bullet when David King tried to jump the medium pass route to Kozlowski. Third and one, definitely two down territory for the Cougars. We're going to play short yardage. And we're going to key Mimuli. Here we go. Everyone up in the box for the Tigers. It's going to be a throw to Mimuli. Touchdown. So we keyed Mimuli on the run, but Bosco hits Mimuli on the short pass. And now they're going to go for two. They're going to go for two. They're going to go for two, and this is huge. Now 16 to 6. Two tight ends set, Mills and Lindley. Kozlowski, the lone wideout. Mimuli and Smith are your backs. We're going to play inside run. Keying Mimuli. BYU's going for two to make it an eight-point game. Auburn playing the run. King Mamouli. Play action pass. Bosco. Little time back there. Throws. Mills is well covered. And he throws it away. 
Bosco under duress. And it's a 10-point game still in favor of the Cougars. I mean, in, in favor of the Tigers. Will the Cougars onside here? Lee Johnson to kick off. Fullwood and Arthur Johnson back. Arthur Johnson at Aldrin's 12 returns it for 13 yards. Auburn has it first and 10 at their 25 with a 10-point lead. 13-16 left in this football game. Man under center. As Washington on the sidelines for now. He's going to screen to Fullwood on first and 10. BYU playing the run. Man under duress. He's going to throw downfield to Clayton Buford. Deflected by Rasmussen. Incomplete. Ooh, we could get a pass interference here. Personal foul. Personal foul. Defense. Yes! Personal foul on the defense. Unsportsmanlike conduct on BYU. Isn't that against their, like, uh, pledge thing? You know? We'll accept that, and we'll move the ball. First down. First down. That's a huge penalty on the Cougars. And we're going to play, cancel, we're going to play, run some clock here. That's the slowdown. Yes, it is, okay. And it's going to be... Tight end screen to Jeff Parks on first and ten. BYU playing the run, keying Fullwood. Pressure on the edge. Man flares it to Fullwood, the safety valve, and Fullwood will pick up two. He's tackled at the 42, so it's going to be second and eight. Big pressure situation for Mike Mann. Second and eight, and we're going to bring Pat Washington back in. So Washington comes back in. Second and eight. Inside run, Brent Fullwood, as we continue to try to run clock. They're double-teaming Wagon on the pass. Fullwood fumbles! Who has it? They're peeling off the players. And Kurt Govea recovers for BYU. Oh, my God. Brent Fullwood fumbles the slippery pigskin. And now BYU down by 10 with 12-12 to play in the game. Have to take advantage of this. Bosco on the offense back on the field as snow continues to fall here at Cougar Stadium. Mimuli and Smith are your backs. Kozlowski and Bellini are wideouts. Mills the tight end. Standard man coverage. Shadow the quarterback. On first and 10 for the Tigers. Bosco takes his usual drop. He's looking for Bellini on the deep route. Incomplete, but a flag on the snowy field. Pass interference. Offense. Defense. Oh, no. Pass interference on the Tigers. Here comes BYU. They're charging like the light brigade. First down. Automatic first down. Cougars have it first and 10 at the Auburn 30. We're going to blitz standard coverage, extra defensive back on first and 10. Trying to bring the pressure on Bosco. Here comes Carr on the blitz. Medium pass to Kelly Smith. Smith has it at the 22. And he's brought down. It's a 10-yard gain. Another first down after the Brent Fullwood fumble. First and 10 for the Cougars at the Auburn 20. Under 12 to play. Here, we're going to blitz again. No extra defensive back. Standard coverage. Playing the pass on first and 10. Cars coming after Bosco. Bosco doesn't have much time. He's scrambling. Hit him. And he scrambles for three yards. King on the tackle. As Bosco got outside of the blitz. Second and seven for Bosco and the Cougars. Mimulian Smith, the running backs. Kozlowski and Haysbert, your wideouts. David Mills, the tight end. We're going to drop back in a zone with an extra defensive back. On second and seven. It's a handoff to Mamouli. He gets around the edge for seven. They're going to measure. It's close. 
And he is just short, third and less than a yard. We're going to blitz. Tight coverage. Here we go. Third and one. We're playing the pass. Tight coverage. McCurdy on the blitz. Bosco drops back. Hayesburg. And knocked down by Carr. Oh, good anticipation by Greg Carr. Fourth and one. Coach Edwards keeps the offense on the field down by 10 with 10.20 left in the game. You lose, you're out of the tournament. They are the number one ranked team at season's end. And they are struggling with the number 16 team, the Auburn Tigers. So fourth and one. We're going to blitz the linebacker again. Tight coverage. Fourth and one. Auburn playing pass. McCurdy on the blitz. Bosco sets up the throw. Not much time. Shifts receivers. Flares to Kelly Smith at the 12. And he picks up four yards. And that will move the chains. Under 10 to play. Here comes the blitz again. Standard coverage. Come on, pick. Carr charging after Bosco. Flag on the play. Illegal formation. Offense. Offense. Yes, back up the bus. First and goal from the Auburn 12. Blitz. Standard coverage. First and goal from the 12 for Bosco. And another flag. False start. Yes, back him up. Back to back penalties on Lavelle Edwards, BYU Cougars. More booze here at Cougar Stadium for their hometown team. First and goal from the Auburn 17. Again, we're going to blitz. Extra defensive back, standard coverage, doubling no one. First and goal from the 17. Here comes Carr. Bosco drops back in the pocket. And Bosco scrambling away from the blitz. Changes directions, heads outside. And Bosco picks up 12. Nice scramble by Robbie Bosco. Second and goal from the Auburn 5. We're going to blitz again. They go two tight ends. Stand tight man coverage here. Second and five. Auburn, it's McCurdy on the blitz. Bosco, not much time. And he is sacked. Gerald Robinson gets him for a three-yard loss. That is the fifth sack of Bosco by the Auburn Tigers. Huge play by the Auburn defense. Third and goal. For BYU from the Auburn 8. Again, we're going to send the pressure. Extra defensive back against their three wide receivers, Kozlowski, Bellini, and Orr. Third and goal from the 8. Here comes Carr on the blitz. Bosco to throw. Kozlowski. Complete. Touchdown. And BYU with that score now makes it 16-12. to Bosco has now thrown for 249 yards, a touchdown, and a pick. And they're going to go for the extra point. Johnson to make it a 16-13 game, and it's good. And uh, Brad62 said way back when they should have kicked the extra point. They didn't. And now it's a three-point game. Field goal ties it, doesn't win it. But it's been all Cougars late in this game. Johnson to kick off with 8.52 to play. Fullwood and Walker back deep. We need a huge drive here. Fullwood from the six. Has some open field up the middle. He breaks through. Go, 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 go. 10, 20, uh, 30. This is coming back. 40. Midfield. This touchdown. And he's tripped up at the 44. 50 yards, but what's the flag? Of course. Receiving team. So it's on Auburn. It's a clip. A huge return 
comes all the way back. So instead of first and 10 in BYU territory, it's first and 10 at the Auburn 21. Jackson and Fullwood are your backs. Screen to Bo Jackson on first and 10. BYU looking for the inside run. Washington screens to Jackson. Jackson hauls it in at the 18. And he only picks up one yard and he goes out of bounds. God damn it. Second and nine. Out, outside run, Bo Jackson. BYU looking past. Doubling Wagon. Jackson heads outside. And he picks up seven. Third and two. Bo Jackson's been a beast. Third and two. Jackson a bit tired. Washington on the keep. Quarterback run. BYU looking pass. Doubling Buford. Washington's going to run the ball. He has some opening. And it's 20 yards. Holy cow. Washington really jumped through that hole and accelerated on the snowy field. Kyle Morrell was lucky to trip him up. Excellent block by Rob Schuler for Washington. Again, we're playing the slowdown, right? Average play timing. Okay, good, good. Ooh, huge drive. Huge drive for the Auburn Tigers. Inside, uh, Brent Fullwood fumbled, but we're going to give him the inside run here. Eight men up in the box. Keying Bo Jackson. Come on, Brent Fullwood. Fullwood hit hard. Picks up three, though. Second and seven. We take it under seven minutes. Inside run, Bo Jackson on second and seven. Snow continues to fall here at Cougar Stadium. BYU keying Jackson. Jackson with the carry of two yards. Third down and five for Auburn at the BYU 46. Fullwood and Jackson are in the red. Washington's in the red. Reggie Ware, Kyle Collins. Mike Mann comes in. Quarterback run, Mike Mann on third and five. They're playing the inside run, Keying Fullwood. Mann's going to run it himself, and he loses two. Larry Hamilton with a huge tackle. Oh, no. Fourth and seven, we will punt. Vi Sikahima back deep. Colbert to punt. It's a short punt. BYU lets it roll. Oh, that's a horrible punt. 26 yards. BYU will start first and 10 at their 22. The good news is no return. Bosco, touchdown, puts him ahead. Field goal ties it. We're blitzing our linebacker. Extra defensive back playing the pass, standard coverage. McCurdy on the blitz. Bosco under duress, get him. He's looking for a secondary, throws to Bellini. Carraker on the coverage. Incomplete, nice coverage by Russ Carraker on Mark Bellini, second and 10. Second and 10. Standard zone, extra defensive back, no blitz. Three wideouts for BYU. It's a flare to Kelly Smith. He's got some running room. It's a seven-yard gain. So third and three, under five to play in the game. Third and three, we're blitzing. Extra defensive back. We're going after Bosco. We've got him sacked five times. Car on the blitz. Bosco throws to Mimuli and falls incomplete. Fourth and three. Bosco is under duress. Little happy feet. They're going to punt. We're going to watch for the fake. Even though it's on their side of the field. 
Johnson to kick. All day in the world. It's a solid punt by Johnson. Ganius bobbles it, but he makes the fair catch. Jesus, don't fumble there. Oh, my Lord. We got to kill 4.09 of clock as Clinton Parks has joined us. Do we keep man at quarterback? We've used Fullwood and Jackson quite a bit. We're going to go two tight ends. So it's going to be Collis Campbell, Brent Fullwood, and Bo Jackson. Uh, Wagan goes out. Actually, we can go one tight end. One tight end. No, we're going to go two tight ends. Two tight ends. And we're going to give it to Collis Campbell up the middle. I think this is his first or second carry of the game. Safety's on the line of scrimmage. You're playing the run. They're keying Jackson. Campbell with the carry. He's stopped at the line of scrimmage. No gain. Second and ten. Oh, my Lord. We're not calling timeout. Are you nuts? I don't want to option in the snow because odds are we might fumble. I haven't had good luck with the option. Though good thought process, Brad. Mike Mann under center. Outside run, Bo Jackson. Tired or not, Bo gets the ball. BYU King, Bo Jackson. This isn't going to be pretty. Jackson, couple of yards. Third and eight. We're not calling timeout. 2.39 left in the game. Auburn clinging to a 16-13 lead. It's going to be a pitch to Fullwood on the option. Cougars playing the run. There's the pitch. And he's only going to pick up two. Great tackle by Jeff Sproles. Fourth and six. And BYU uses their first timeout. Fourth and six. We will punt. Lee Colbert needs a huge punt here. Vi Sikahima back. It's a short punt. BYU lets it roll. Goes out of bounds at the BYU 38, 32-yard punt. BYU is 40 yards away from a game-tying field goal. 219 left. Snow falls at Cougar Stadium. BYU has two timeouts. We're going to blitz the linebacker. Standard coverage. Extra defensive back. We're not going to double anybody. We need to put pressure on Bosco. McCurdy on the blitz. Bosco in duress. And he goes down. No. Wait. I oh, he breaks away. Picks up 18 yards. That's bullshit. He's hit, but he did not go down. Robbie Bosco with the scramble. Oh, we needed that sack. He scrambles for 18, but he does not go out of bounds. And they don't call timeout either. 155 left. We're going to blitz again. Extra defensive back, standard coverage. Bosco looking to lead a comeback. It's Carr chasing Bosco. Bosco takes off running. God damn it, he breaks loose again. 40, 30. 20, 10, oh my lord, 38 yard run, finally knocked out of bounds by Nate Caesar, oh my god, Robbie Bosco doing it with his legs and we're bringing the pressure, oh my lord, first and goal for the Cougars at the Auburn 6, how many yards has Bosco rushed for? 47. That was a 38-yard run. Oh, my God. you got to be kidding me. Ouch. All right, we got to hold him here, boys. Ball at the Auburn 6. Smith and Sonola, uh, Salanoa are the running backs. Bosco, bit winded, but he's under center. Edwards, the lone wide out. Two tight ends, Mills and Lindley. We're going to blitz. Tight coverage. Here we go. Come on, throw a pick. McCurdy on the blitz. Quick toss to Edwards. Poorly thrown. 
And knocked away by Greg Carr. Oh, we need the pick. Second and goal. Second and goal for BYU. We're going to blitz again. Tight coverage. Come on, baby. McCurdy on the chase of Bosco. It's a fake end around. He's going to pass. Tosses to Molini. Touchdown. Oh, my God. And BYU comes all the way back. Bosco to Trevor Molini for the touchdown. It's now 19-16. What a comeback. Here's the extra point by Lee Johnson. It's good. Oh, my God. Oh, my Lord. 17 17 uh, one minute and 17 seconds left fullwood and arthur we need a huge kick return johnson to kick off come on brent fullwood it's johnson he only picks up 12 oh boy we're gonna throw it up Campbell, actually, let's get Cap. Let's get him on. And all right, there we go. And we're gonna throw deep to Freddie Wagan, medium long to Wagan. BYU sitting back in his zone. Mike Mann's gonna throw it. Pressure up the middle on Mann, and it's a sack. Auburn uses a time. Why didn't that? That should have. I put in his pitcher. Kirk Govea must have misspelled his name. One timeout left. Second and 14. Wide receiver screen. BYU dropping back in a deep zone. Screen to Wagon. Flag on the play. Give us some free yards. Wagan grabs at the 9. 10. 20. Brought down at the 27. Gain of 13. Flag. Illegal use of hands? Defense. Defense. Yes. All right. So let's see what we want here. 10-yard penalty. I think we picked up more than grab at the 9, 10, 20. Gain of 13, decline. Oh, shoot. Would I got a first down? God damn it. Doesn't matter. Third and five, 50 seconds. 50 seconds left. We need a touchdown. We need a miracle. <laughs> Screen to Freddie Wagan again. Tight coverage. Morell blitzing. Pass rush. Flag. Ball jarred free. There's a scramble. Who has it? Probably the Cougars. Auburn has it, but there's a flag on the play. Offside. Defense. Defense. Yes, we'll take that. We'll accept. First down. All right. That gets us out of that pickle. We're still in a big pickle, but that gets us out of the minor pickle. 40 seconds left. We're throwing it long, looking for a pass interference. Looking for Wagon deep. Man, looking. Throws. Wagon double covered. And it's batted down at the line of scrimmage by Jim Hurt. Oh, it's intercepted! Oh, my God. And that's the ball game. Jim Herman 
batted the ball and picks it off. Man goes deep to Wagan. Ball bat at the line of scrimmage. Jim oh, no. It's batted up in the air, and Herman makes That's it. So, run run blitz. They're just going to kneel down or just run. Come on, fumble, you bastards. Bosco takes a knee. We have one timeout left. We'll call it. Defense. Maybe there's some miracle roll in the background. Run blitz. Here we go. Bosco takes a knee, and that's it. What an unbelievable comeback by BYU. 20 to 16. What a game. Wow. As Brad62 says, wow, what a great comeback. Boy, we had two heartbreakers today. We lost two heartbreakers. Robbie Bosco, player of the game. 262 yards, three touchdowns, quarterback rating, 162. He rushed for 47 yards. That big scramble for 38 yards killed us. We brought good pressure on Bosco all game. We sacked him five times. We turned the ball over twice. They turned it over once. Ouch. Let's go take a quick look. Washington, 5 for 7 for 52 yards. Man, 3 for 5 for 17. And that pick at the end. Bo Jackson, great game. 22 carries, 143 yards, 2 touchdowns, but it wasn't enough. The number 1 Cougars advanced to the second round. Bosco was incredible. Oh, heartbreaking loss. There you have it. BYU advances 20 to 16. That's going to make Anthony of Bleacher Bums Gaming real happy. So our next game, probably, I don't know, if we go in order. I'm not a big Florida State fan. I really don't want to play as them, but I have to. I think we might go... Um, well, we'll probably go in order. Florida State, Oklahoma. I'll be playing as number 15, Florida State. Who do we have? Let's just check it real quick. Bobby Bowton's the coach. Look at rosters. Eric Thomas, I don't remember him at all. He can't be any good. Greg Allen, uh, not one of the stellar teams here. Let's check out Oklahoma real quick. And again, this game might be later this week or next week. This project will be an ongoing slow project. I'll try to get most of the games on the channel. As Bosco, as uh, Brad62 says, Bosco has the legs of Steve Young. He sure did in this freaking game. Let's go back to schedule, and let's see who Oklahoma has. Well, Barry Switzer is the coach. I knew that. And let's go profile. Lindell Carr, Spencer Tillman. Okay, I have the decent backs there. They got the Boz. We're going to be loading up the pitchers. Um, Troy Aikman's actually still on this team, but obviously he doesn't. He transfers to UCLA a, a year or two later. Danny Bradley. They're a running team. You can see they're going to run the ball a lot. Then throw Keith Jackson. He's good. All right, so that's going to be our next game in this 16-team playoff. Hope everyone enjoyed it. What a comeback by BYU. Robbie Bosco, the MVP, 262 yards, three touchdowns. Man, we had him 16-0. And again, the fourth quarter kills us in these games. They put up 20 points in the fourth quarter. We lose 20-16. to Hell of a game. Hope everyone enjoyed it. I'd like to thank Brad62, D. Scott Howard, Clinton Parks. As we scroll up, Uh, Jack Dawson, thank you very much for the super chat. Smelly Wrestling Geek, who just picked up the game. It's a very fun game. Sports Time Machine, thank you. Philip Reynolds, thank you. Klee Baseball Fan, 879, thank you. MV, aka Mouse in the House, thank you. Uh, Dave Gardner, thank you. And of course, Steeler Fan, 1933, aka Matt. Brad62 says, FSU ran the freeze option then. I have no clue what that means. I just know that this is not a good 
Florida State team. <laughs> it's an okay Florida State team. What did they do? They were 7-3-1, and one, so I have to check out. Again, I changed the records because we don't count the bowl games. We're playing like there's no bowl games. This is the final 16 at season end, so... But 7-3-1, and one, not bueno. Oklahoma was 9-2-1. and one. So Maybe we get an upset. Maybe we don't. But they're fun to play. That's why we enjoy our hobby. So thank you. Stay safe, be smart, health, and happiness. I greatly appreciate your time. It was a fun game. I do like 2nd and 10. I hope you enjoyed the call. It's like a radio call. But it's a very fun game. I recommend it. As well as the other football games I play. Until next time. You know what's coming, folks. Peace! See you soon, and I love you all. Bye-bye.